Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Portree campsite on the Isle of Skye. So let's go and take a look around. So we pick up our journey where we left off last time after we'd left Morvik Caravan and Motorhome Club site and we're now heading over the Sky Bridge onto the Isle of Skye which is our home for the next couple of nights. We're going to start our trip by making a left hand turn to Kyleekin and we're going to park up here, have a look around and then visit Castle Moyle. We checked out the parking on the left hand side here but it was pretty busy, probably could have squeezed in actually but we decided to carry on and see what parking there was further down. We got parked up just near the harbour which was really handy and then took a wander around. There was various boats moored up in the harbour. There's a bar and restaurant just near the centre. At the point when we were there, which was on the morning, it wasn't open. But let's take a further look around now. You can see the Sky Bridge coming into view now, which connects Sky with the mainland of Scotland. You can also see here the car park we drove past earlier. It was quite drizzly when we visited, but I imagine this is absolutely outstanding when the sun's shining. We're now going to take the short walk, which is about 500 metres, to Castle Moyle. So now let's go and take a look around Castle Moyle. We'd like to thank Graham and Ellie from Wizard in the Wild for the inspiration to visit Castle Moyle. We really enjoyed our visit there. Thank you guys. Don't forget to check out their YouTube channel for some fantastic adventures and places to visit. On our way to Castle Moyle, there was a lovely garden that had lots of different statues and ornaments. Looked really nice. back on our way. Take a look across the harbour there. You can see our van parked on the end of the row there. Now we can see Castle Moyle which is where we were heading. Depending on the tide times, the access route to Castle Moyle is either easier or more difficult. As you can see, we had to scramble across some of these rocks, which were a little bit slippy in places. Roxy had no problem whatsoever, she just went through the water. We'll now head up the small hill to Castle Moyle. There's a lovely view from the remains of the castle. You can see right across the sea here and across to the Sky Bridge, across the village and for miles around. The castle dates back to the late 15th or early 16th century. The castle is almost completely ruined. In 1949 and 1989, parts of the ruins broke away in the storms. On 14th of February 2018, a lightning strike destroyed part of the ruins. They've since been stabilised. After visiting the remains of the castle, we made our way back along the shoreline.
The boathouse and some old boats in the area, some of them are in better condition than others, and one of them sunk. Not sure we'd get very far on that one. After we'd visited Castle Moyle, we then headed to the Fairy Pools in Glen Brittle. You can see the last bit of the road here is fairly narrow but plenty of passing places. Also watch out for the potholes. When we visited the charge for parking cars was £6 and £8 for motorhomes in the Fairy Pools car park. The path to walk down through the Fairy Pools is just near the entrance to the Fairy Pools car park and you can then wander down the track. The fairy pools are a natural waterfall phenomenon. The pools are a vivid aqua blue and are a popular place for wild swimmers who brave the waters. There's a number of animals in the area such as red deer, rabbits and sheep. The water's typically very cold as the pools are fed by mountain streams. It's about a 20 minute walk from the car park to the pools and you can just keep going up the mountain and carry on and finding more fairy pools. After a lovely trip to the fairy pools, which we'd highly recommend if you're on the Isle of Skye, we then headed back down the track and then back to the car park. We then headed for Melt Falls and Kilt Rock and on the way we passed the Old Man of Store, which is a mountain you can climb up. Must go back and do that at some point. Now we're arriving at Melt Falls and Kilt Rock. We had a very quick visit to Melt Falls and Kilt Rock as it was pretty busy by the time we got there so it was getting late in the day and 
The falls drops around 55 metres into the ocean and Kilt Rock's the formation in the background there, which is 90 metres tall. Now we've arrived at Portree campsite, you head over the bridge which runs over a little stream and that takes you into the campsite. On arrival we checked in at reception which is just on the left as you go through the gate there and then we were told where our pitch was and we headed off to our pitch which was here. Have a quick look around now, it got much busier later on, it was quite a popular campsite. Here's the main facilities block, there's also a second one just coming up just past the reception there which is just in view there. There's drinking water available, there's also a motorhome service point to allow you to fill up your water and drain down any of your grey waste as well. The toilet and shower blocks were very clean and tidy as you would expect. There's some really nice scenery around the site and you get a great view from the site. Let's take a look from above now and have a look around the area. There's some handy areas on the campsite where you can go and walk your dog and see Roxy there enjoying herself. We visited Portree while we were there and found this handy car park and at the time it was 90 minutes free in a camper van or motorhome and there was some dedicated spaces as you saw there. So let's just take a quick look around now 
the town of Portree on the Isle of Skye. So there's a very quick taster of Portree. Now we're headed back to the camper van. After looking online, we spotted the Red Brick Cafe, which is at Jan's, which is on the industrial estate in Portree. And we thought we'd check it out. Here we are arriving at Jan's and the Red Brick Cafe. We were really impressed with the sort of things you could get in Jan's. Especially being on the Isle of Skye, you wouldn't expect this much selection, or we certainly didn't anyway. There was DIY, electrical, paints, pet stuff, all sorts of things. We thought we'd treat ourselves to breakfast in the Red Brick Cafe. was very tasty and we can highly recommend it. That's the end of the first part of our adventures on the Isle of Skye. Join us next time when we continue for the second part in Broadford. So Rachel, what did you think of Portree Campsite? Oh, do you know what? It's a lovely little site, um, lots of hard standing. What I really enjoyed was seeing all the different nationalities in one place, um, watching people coming and going. I could have sat and watched it all day long. Toilet block, clean and um, functioned. The only thing I would say was the shower was one of those that only came on for 10 seconds and then switched off. But apart from that, you know, the scenery is just simply stunning. Loved it. What about you? Fantastic, yeah, lovely place to stop, very central as well, so very handy and a, a good choice. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.